Do you want to be lightning fast and just shred everything to pieces? Then this is the build for you. What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a lightning shred melee build. This is absolutely insane for the Druid. So first and foremost, let me give a big shout out to Moxie for helping me on some of the gear pieces and items, particularly the waxing gibbous for this build. So big shout out to him, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. So guys, this is lightning shred. This build is absolutely insane. We're gonna be super, super fast and we're gonna be able to just to shred everything and teleport all over the map. So let's get into the abilities and break everything down first and real quick just to show you what you need for the build and then how to play it. We're going to go over the gear pieces as well as briefly touch on the Paragon board so that way you guys know how to do it. Starting off, guys, we are taking Storm Strike into just Enhanced Storm Strike. We only really have this just to get to the second thing. We're rarely going to be using our basic attack, but you definitely want to do Storm Strike just in case if you're falling out of spirit and you're not being able to cast Shred. So we're going to take this. We're going to go down to our core skills, guys. We are going to be taking one point into Heart of the Wild for more spirit. Going into Wild Impulses so Shred does more damage, but it costs more spirit. That's okay. Then, of course, we're taking five points into Shred. We're maxing this out. You want as much points into Shred as possible, okay? Then an Enhanced Shred, obviously, for attack speed and life. And then we're taking Primal Shred because on the second and third attacks, you also dash, okay? And then Crit Strike damage is insane. Movement speed really isn't going to be a big issue in this build, guys, because we're going to be able to teleport all over the map. Then we got three points in Predatory Instinct for Crit Strike Chance. And then three points into the Gaet for more movement speed, as well as it persists while we're leaving. But that doesn't matter. We just have the movement speed in general. Then into our defensive skills, we're taking one point in Ancestral Fortitude, three points into Vigilance, so we have more damage reduction by using a defensive skill, which is good. We want to be tanky. And then we're taking Cyclone Armor into Preserving Cyclone Armor, which makes uh, enemies not only vulnerable, but they're, or excuse me, they're going to be knocked back and slowed, but we get some damage reduction for that. If you want to make them vulnerable because you're feeling a little too tanky, then you can, but I like Preserving. It's just better. Bloody Howl, arguably one of the best skills for the Druid. Down into Preserving Bloody Howl, so we get the attack speed buff and then life back. We're not taking anything in our companion uh, slots there. Down to our, our Wrath skills, we're taking one point to Elemental Exposure, three points into Endless Tempest because our Hurricane is going to last for a much longer time. We got Hurricane down into Savage Hurricane, so we get some damage reduction, as well as a slowing down enemies, which is really, really strong. Uh, now that the hurricane got buffed, which I'm super happy about, this actually does some decent damage. Next, we're going to come down and take Neurotoxin and grab three points into Envenom for crit strike damage. Everything should be poison, so you're, this is going to trigger all the time. Then we got Toxic Claws, which on a crit strike, which is going to happen all the time, we are going to get 23% uh, of our base damage is poison damage, which is going to help trigger our Envenom. Then down here, I'm taking two points into Deviance just against the Elites, just to provide a little bit more damage. Uh, however, what you can do is take this off and kind of put one more point there just to max it. Three points into Defensive Posture to Fortify because we really need some good Fortify here, uh, as well as Nature's Resolve for when we get hit, we have a chance to be Fortified. And then Unconstrained to reduce CC effects against us while we're Fortified over our maximum. Then, of course, everything evolves in this build around Grizzly Rage. Down to the Supreme Grizzly Rage, this is going to give us Fortify, make us unstoppable, and we're going to do some increased damage, okay? Our key passive is going to be Looping Ferocity. On our sixth skill, we're going to get a Critical Strike, dealing increased damage, okay? Those are the skills. The character really evolves around having Waxing Gibbous. This is going to allow us to just dominate and just get our 100% critical hit strikes. This is the key piece of the build. This build does not require any uniques. However, I am wearing three. So if you do get these, this is really going to make the build go over the top. So we have Waxing Gibbous, which is a really, really strong unique. So we gain stealth when we kill an enemy with Shred. And then Breaking Stealth gives us Ambush, which gives us a guaranteed critical strike. This is not. A, this is the main reason why with Shred, we're not cared about movement speed. And we don't really need a lot of crit strike chance on our gear, even though I have some. Um, this build heavily revolves around having cooldown for Grizzly Rage. We want to be in Grizzly Rage as long as possible. So I'm still working on some cooldown aspects, but you're going to see how strong the build is if you haven't already in the earlier gameplay footage. So this build, this, this is the key item 
Next, we're taking uh, Hurricane is active. We get two more ranks to our sh uh, shape shifting skills, which is going to be Shred. Then we have uh, Disobedience for more armor guys, super strong. Then this is where we get our lightning in. Stormclaw. Crit strikes with Shred deal 25% of the damage dealt as lightning damage to surrounding enemies. This is what really allows us to jump into big packs of mobs and do some AoE damage, which is just really, really strong. Then our two other uniques here are Mad Wolf's Glee. This really gives us some okay damage reduction, but more important, it makes us in werewolf form the entire time, and we get two more ranks into those skills. Tempest Roar isn't necessary, but it does make Storm skills become werewolf skills, so that way when we do pop Grizzly Rage, Hurricane will be on the action bar, so you guys can use that. Okay, but if you don't have Tempest Roar, that's okay. Uh, in our amulet, we're doing Dire Wolves, so now Grizzly Rage shapes us, shape shifts us into a Dire Werewolf. We gain a big movement speed increase and damage reduction, but more importantly, we get the Spirit Cost Reduction of 72% and it heals us this allows us to spam shred as much as possible next into our two rings here we have crit strikes with core skills which is our shred give us even more attack speed attack speed is very very important on this build because we want to swing as much as we can with shred because it's a melee build next we have ring of the rampaging werebeast the duration of grizzly rage is increased but more importantly Crit strikes with Grizzly Rage active increases our crit strike damage. And when we're always crit critting after we kill enemies with Shred, we get a huge boost in damage. Last and not least in our totem is uh, Retaliation. Core skills do up to 40% increased damage based on the amount of, of us being fortified. We're going to be fortified in Grizzly Rage. We're always going to get hit and we're always going to heal. So we should always have a very, very high amount of fortify for for this to trigger okay that's the gear guys we're gonna get into paragon board in just a second so first let's do spare boons weariness damage reduction from elites because this is a very very strong build even against single targets there's not really anything else that you would really take here maybe the spirit of the stag but that's it in our hawk we always want avian wrath for more crit damage and into our uh, fox or wolf excuse me we're taking calamity to extend the duration of Grizzly Rage. And then we're taking two points in the Deer for Masochistic. Masochistic. Chris Strikes with Shape Shifting Skills, which is our Werewolf Skills, heal us. And then Calm Before the Storm, Nature Magic Skills, which our Werewolf Skills become Nature Magic Skills because we have the Tempest Roar Helmet. Have a chance to reduce the cooldown of Grizzly Rage by two seconds on a lucky hit. So in the build, what like the main things that you're looking for here, guys, is Chris Strike Damage, uh, spear cost reduction as well as cooldown cooldown is the most important and you really need cooldown on absolutely everything attack speed and then crit strike damage are the biggest ones so before we get into the paragon board if you guys already saw in the gameplay before let's go ahead and showcase this just a little bit you're gonna hit everything and you are just gonna be dashing across the map and just demolishing groups of mobs super super quick the build is so, so fun and fast. I'm not going to lie. This build makes Tornado Werewolf just seem non-existent in some ways. I know you guys are going to butcher me in the comments for even saying that. But it is very, very strong. And you just dash across the map. It's so good. Again, I do want to preface that you want to be in Grizzly Rage as much as possible. We got Grizzly Rage back up, and we are just cruising across the map. Get our stealth. We get our guaranteed crits. And the build is just super, super fun. <laughs> it is so fun. Grizzly Rage, kill everything. Get our stealth. I hate suppressors, but we shred through them like butter. Like butter, baby. Like butter. The dashing is probably the coolest part about this build just the absolute coolest part about the build you really want lucky hit chance to help proc and reset grizzly rage which is really important super super good super good so you guys can see the build is just absolutely insane let's kill the rest of these guys really fast so that way we can go over the paragon board so the paragon board i mess with uh, a little bit it does cost me a lot to um respec into the paragon board but however i just want to go through and just show you the initial things attack speed is just very very important so we got prime we're but our we're going to go over just the glyphs and not necessarily all of the rares 
But you want Werewolf. This gives you more damage uh, while in Werewolf form, plus damage reduction, which is huge. We're taking Ancestral Guidance for spending 75 Spirit. That's only three attacks for Shred, and then you get the extra 30% increased damage, which should happen all of the time. Then we're going to take um, Undaunted for more damage while we're fortified, which is going to be all the time. Then over here on the next board, we are taking um, Spirit, which is going to give us a lot of crit strike damage with core skills, which is our uh, Shred. And then we get Critical Strike increases the damage of uh, the enemies take by us up to 12%, which is even better. In this one, we're taking Heightened Malice. While there are three or more poison enemies nearby, we do increase damage. With Shred being able to poison everything with the Poison Claws and hitting an AoE, we're going to be able to poison everything, so this should be triggered up most of the time. Not when you have single targets, but this should be up most of the time. In our next board, we're uh, we have Constricting Tendrils. We're not taking that. However, we just have it to get to the Glyph slot, which is going to be Exploit. Very, very important. This is one of the best uh, glyphs in the game for Druid. It not only makes everything vulnerable for three seconds, but you do increase damage to vulnerable enemies. Next, we have uh, our Thunderstruck Storm Skills, which now our Werewolf Skills are, are Storm Skills. Deal 30% increased damage against vulnerable or mobilized enemies. This should always trigger. Then we have uh, Fang and Claw. It's not to 15 yet. I'm working on it, guys. But you do do increase Storm Skill damage. But more importantly, while in Werewolf or Werebear form, close enemies take another 12% increased times damage multiplier, which is just absolutely insane. So this is the Paragon board, guys. This will be linked down in the description. Oh, we got one more down here. I forgot. Down here on this last board, we took this all the way to come down just for crit strike and werewolf damage, but we took lust for carnage. This is very, very important because we're always going to crit with our werewolf skills for shred and is always going to restore two spirit. So we should be critting nonstop and just getting back two spirit every time we crit. So that is the Paragon board. This is Lightning or Storm Shred or Lightning Shred. This build is absolutely fantastic and I'm really, really enjoying it. I want to show you how this build absolutely shreds against the boss. You can see that it just absolutely just shreds the boss no problem whatsoever. You get the crits and she's just dead. She's just dead. Absolutely dead. So this build is so, so fun, guys. It's actually more fun than Tornado Druid or even Pulverize for me with Druid. And it's just super, super fun, guys. So make sure to like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Lightning Shred. And subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.